Hi, Internet viewers. My name is Frank Rauscher. Uh, I'm going to do part three of uh, this video uh, on creating an otter. Um, we had the blank. We The last video, we put the center line down. Now I'm going to start putting markings on here so that you can see uh, where the legs come in and the shaping of it and everything else. And before we perform all that, what I would like to do is get all the markings on that you need, and then we'll proceed on as far as trying to reduce the wood off of here at those points. And you can establish exactly what you need before we attack the piece. And it's just not the center line. There's more things that have to be added. So I am going to uh, give you measurements in here and take you on to uh, finish the markings, all of it completed. And then we can follow in with, these are like boundaries to get you to complete this otter as far as the roughing out. So. Bear with me here. Uh, I'm gonna pause for a second and move the camera down so that you can see this at a closer view. And hopefully the measurements and everything will be, uh, you be able to see and follow me. I take a lot of measurements. Most of my background is in engineering. So I measure everything. And uh, what we try to do, especially like when we get to the head, everything on either side of the head is symmetrical. It's the same way with the body. We're going to have markings that are going to be uh, the similar on either side. So almost what you're doing from one side to the other is going to be the same. And I'm going to try to show you how to create that. But first we want to get the markings down so that you know exactly what we have to take off. And uh, I will try to mark some things up. Most of it, I'm going to try to measure. Uh, and I'm going to also show you by the pattern that's available here that I have. It has some markings on it as well that we use for boundaries to, to be able to locate where the leg may turn, the muscle, the hindquarter, or, or the front legs, or something like that, or how narrow the top of the body because an, an otter is like thinner at the top and then as uh, the hind quarters come out they they get puffier and here's one I've done that's already shaped so you can see that it's thinner at the top here and then it's fatter in the, in the hind quarters right in here. So this pops out here. It also pops out for the legs in the front. So uh, we're going to try to develop something like this that has a lot of contours on it. And, and it comes pretty fast. And then what we do is we go right for the head. So this is sort of an easy project where on birds you're doing a lot of wings and beak and everything else. Uh, uh, the body comes pretty fast on an otter. That's why I'm trying to introduce you to this. So uh, let me uh, pause for a second. I'm going to move the camera down and then see if we can't get you at a close up. And then you can follow me uh, with the measurements. Okay, I moved the camera down so that I'm hoping you have a nice view of this. Uh, the markings on the otter, here's like uh, where the leg comes in, and this has a, a shape that we're going to try to develop the same way with the hind quarter right here. Uh, I made this heavier so that you could see it, and we're going to pencil this on to the blank itself. And it's the same way over here and here. And then uh, what I'm also going to do in this view right here, at the top of the otter, this uh, tail comes in and it narrows into the body. And the body has like a line that runs through here so that the hindquarters pop out. 
and, and that's this portion here. The same way this leg comes up into here, and that's what we're going to see here. So I'm going to give you some measurements along the way to follow me on this. And if yet, I, I know you don't have patterns, but if you need to get them from me, uh, give me a call. I, I can always mail them out to you. Or if you want to try to uh, make a, a copy from uh, the video and then put it on your printer and blow it up, that's another way you can try to do it to follow me. This overall measurement across here, if I were to give you a, a measurement from the, the front to uh, the tail, which is here to here, that measurement is going to be about almost uh, seven and a half inches long. Okay, from here to here. So if you're looking for a scale to reach, that's the overall length. Okay, and you could probably get it from here as well. Same thing. It's almost, I'm really cheating a little bit here. It's almost eight inches long, excuse me. So base it off of that. You can try to make a copy of this, or if you want to contact me, I do sell patterns and stuff like that so uh if you need it i can get it out to you and if you can uh sort of make it up from uh the video great too uh, uh, however you can achieve it but what i want to try to do is show you how to transfer some of the markings in here so i have a blank that like i said i cut out to that size and we have a marking here. So I come along here and transfer the marking onto the piece here. And I have an end point right there and right there. And I try to transfer that right to there. Then I try to duplicate this and it comes around and down. And this has a little haunch in here. So this comes back, stops, and then then starts coming up and around. And this portion here is just coming up and stops here. It's, it's really going to come up further in here, but we have to round this over. So um, if we can just establish this in the beginning, that'll be great. Then we, we turn it over to the other side and we do the exact same thing. We lay this over here. We pick up the point from here and a point from there. And then uh, we lay our blank over it and you can pick that point from there to there and we mark this in, okay? And the same way with the, the hind quarter here, it comes around. You have the, the leg coming up and then it sort of swings out and around. Now, the distance between these two is roughly about a half inch. And you want to try to maintain that, okay? And this distance from here to here on the hind quarter is almost an inch. So that's your width there. And then it gets down to where uh, it narrows down and that's about three eighths from here to here. So just trying to give you some uh, limitations on on the measurements here how that's done so we have that for both sides it's gonna it's gonna work out both the same way this here and this here you're coming in and you're penciling that on and this is in the profile position uh, you also have this front leg coming up and in. So I'm just asking you to come up just about what that does in here a little bit and just mark that out and then come over here. And in the case of here, this, when I cut this blank out, I have more material than the width of this foot. So what I did is I narrowed it down and I penciled that in. And here's that uh, 
where this comes down, this would come down and join us right there, but this comes in like here. So that takes care of that other profile on the opposite side. Now on the top, which is this here, I'm going to show you, we have a leg that sticks out and when we cut it out, we cut it so that we didn't cut this leg off. The, this leg on the other side here is hidden and that's this one. You don't see it here. It's, it's underneath, but this side proje projects out. So we have to preserve this portion here. So I'm going to ask you to run a line, what would come off the head right here and slide over. And it's going to basically meet up with this line here. If you're looking straight up at it on the side here, so that would come down to here and fade off. Now we're going to take all this material out here and we don't want to take it out down below because that's projecting out. That's this projection here. So we have to get some of this excess out of here and we're going to do that almost initially. Then on the tail itself, which is this portion right here, the way this is cut out, we showed it the feet sticking out here and the feet sticking out there. And that's this bump we have out here and the bump we have out there. Uh, that's actually happening down below here. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to try to take measurements from where the feet are, which you do have. That's where the tail starts coming on to the body. Uh, I'm going to ask you to come up, see where this portion came through, where you have the hind quarter and the, and the front leg coming around. That area in there is right about here. If I drew like a light line up, that would fall on the body right here and here. And you want to be able to measure across from what would be your center line. You want to come out a half inch and put a dot and a half inch and put a dot. Okay. <coughs> and that is going to be where this narrows in. And I'll show you that. So, uh, what I'm also going to do about the middle of the hind quarter here, I'm going to measure out where this projects out right about here. And I'm going to measure from the center out and it's about, oh, we'll say three eighths. So I put a dot there and, and three eighths out from the center. I put a dot there. Now, what I do is I draw an arc similar to how the uh, the middle of the of the uh, blank is. I'm coming out a half inch up here and three eighths down there, and I'm sort of trying to parallel somewhat this so I can connect the dots and then come all the way down to where the tail comes in on the body. And I do the same thing on the other side. I mark this out heavy, so you can see it right on down. And now this is where the body narrows in here. We're gonna take this, this is excess. And just to show you what happens here, uh, here is where the body narrows in right here and you can see the hind quarter is sticking out. And this is the same way where the front leg also gets shaped in here. So it, this is going to narrow right between these two. You're saying, how far in do you go to take the material off? It's going to be up to that line on either side. Okay. So that's what the top view looks like. So it's a half inch from here to here, here to here. 
about right in the middle of the hind quarter, right in about this spot here. We measure three eighths and you put a dot on each side from the center out. And then you sort of make an arc that's following what looks like an extension of the tail. It's not really, but uh, the body does arc. You can see how the tail comes up, it, like fades into the body, but it actually is narrowing in this area here. And I can't really make that look so uh, obvious in here. It's sort of, it's happening without you seeing it on the drawing. You can't accomplish everything on a, on a pattern, but you try. Now, I'm going to flip from the top view, and I think we accomplished everything we need to do in here. We're going to go to the bottom. Now, here's where it gets a little trickier in a sense that uh, when you have it upside down here, uh, you want to go to the front. This is the front end of the, of the feet. And I want you to measure from the center line, oops, excuse me, from the center line out five sixteenths and put a dot and five sixteenths and put a dot. Now that will be the edge of your feet. Okay, and that's these paws down below here. You see one here. In essence, if I dot this in, you're going to have another one over here, and it's underneath. So here's how I handle that. We have 5 sixteenths out from here, I put a dot, and 5 sixteenths out here, and I put a dot. Now, the feet itself is probably about a quarter of an inch wide, maybe another 5 sixteenths. I'll take that back. So... From this 5 16 you come out, and it should take you right to the edge over here, and your 5 16 from here to here. And you put a dot there, and from this 5 16 to this one, you have another dot. Now, they taper in slightly, so this comes back, and this comes back uh, about, I would say, a quarter of an inch and, and then it flares out again and it it meets up with the body over here now I want to excavate all this out because what happens is you want to get the the legs out and you got to take the material out of here so we're going to excavate all throughout here so I'm going to give you some limits on that and the limits to take that out is about uh, maybe from the edge here back about an inch and an eighth. So you measure straight back an inch and an eighth and put a dot there. Now, like I said, the, the legs, I should say actually the feet are here and that tapers in and then out. Then it tapers in a little bit. And then what we're going to do, that point right here, which is an inch and an eighth, we're going to start flaring out after we come back a half, a, a quarter of an inch back. And we start arcing over to here. Then we do the same thing on this side. We have, um, like I said, five sixteenths to here. And then we flare in a little bit and then we flare out and we arc it right to there. Okay. All of this in here will be excavated out and I'll show you how to do that too. And that will bring these feet out in the front. All this is coming out. So I'll just cross hatch it so you can see that. Now, the other thing we have to do is the, this front elbow, like that's going to happen here, is going to join up with this line here. But you're, we're, what we're doing is we're doing a, a view in the profile position, but now we got to do the bottom 
to try to accomplish that. So I'm going to come in off of this line and I'm going to draw a line. Here's the profile view. And if I ran a line up here, this is where this has got to come up and around to join up with this. And I'll show you how that happens too. So we want to draw a line that comes back and matches up with this one, which is the front elbow, basically, and coming around to there. And then we do the same thing on the other side. We have this right here. And if I drew a straight line down, we'd come arching right around. And this will develop this whole foot in the front, which looks like this. I'm going to show you how we'll develop all of this. Okay, and this is the same thing on the other side. We're going to bring all this out so that it'll look just right when we get done. Now, we're going to go for the back legs, the hind quarters here. And we're going to do it this way. We're going to, again, get this arc coming down. And when it meets on the back here of the belly side, the same way here, we mark it there. We come back to where we cut in for the feet that come back here. And they are measured from the center out about an eighth of an inch from the center out. So from this point, which is the center of the otter, out an eighth of an inch, you put a dot and a dot on this side, an eighth of an inch out. Then you flare in a little bit because uh, it's like uh, the wrist. We we narrow in here and then it flares out again. It's the same thing that happens on a, it's like their foot. It's like your ankle basically. And then we also have the same measurements up here, which was five sixteenths. We want to measure from this point over to here, five sixteenths. And we put a dot and then we narrow in and then we flare out to where it flows right along the edge here of the, of the body. Now, up here on this hind quarter where we brought this point down, we want to run a line. It sort of comes all the way up to, uh, if I give you a measurement, it's uh, about 3 sixteenths from about this point to here. So this is going to arc all the way around through that 3 sixteenths. And where we came in with the toes, or the foot here, it narrows in and then it flares out and it comes up nicely to meet that 3 sixteenths in here. And you do the exact same thing on the other side. You come off of here, you flow down to the 3 sixteenths, you have that flare in here at the foot to make the ankle, and then you go out again, and you meet up with the 3 sixteenths, okay? And then on this side, remember we came out, uh, I believe it was an eighth of, or eighth of an inch. I'm, I'm forgetting my measurements already. Yeah, it's an eighth of an inch out. And then three, uh, five sixteenths over to here. And we put that mark and we flare in. And then we do the exact same thing we're doing on this side. We flare out. And, and it sort of transitions off to the edge of the body. So now we have this whole hindquarter right in here. And we got this one all set too. And uh, now we're starting to get most of the markings that we need 
to start shaping the, uh, the body. And uh, I'm going to and pause for a second and uh, then show you how to uh, start t reducing this down to uh, where we start really shaping this in with, with, with the bits that I showed you. And part of the bits that I showed you was we use these tungsten carbide bits and I'm going to be using a Fordham, which is uh, uh, the motor with the flexible shaft. And this is a, uh, what they call a hogging bit. It's a tungsten carbide bit. And what I'll do is I'm going to start outlining some of this along here. And I'll show you how to approach that without taking too much off. And, and uh, we'll do so much with this bit. And then we'll go to smaller ones, which are this one like here, which can allow me to get into tighter areas in here so I can just clean this out. And when we get done, it should look like something like this. We have a valley between the, the two. Let me get this here. You have this one and you have this one. And what we'll do is we'll make an opening in here and clean that out. We'll do this with the with the larger bit through here, but we can't get it back in here. So you're limited to what you can do with the, the bigger one. So, but the bigger one will get a lot off for us. So I will show you that. And I'm going to pause for a second and see if we can't get this going. 